Just to summarize, this student key to plant identification explains everything what you need to know, what you need to do to take an unknown specimen and then come up with a name at the end and also confirm using the published information. And basically what you need to do is you need to have a, some knowledge about the plants and their description and then you need to go to the local books and then look at the pictures and based on those pictures you pick up some of the examples and then use them as the guide or the subject matter to key it out because it's good to go through the known sample rather than unknown sample and then you do all the steps which are explained before looking at the collection collection, pressing, transferring into white paper and labeling, then drawing the floral diagram and writing down the, uh, the, all the parts and then finally started, start keying it out using the one of the manual or the flora of Southeast Queensland and then once you key it out you come to the family level and then once you know the, come to the family level just read about the descriptions of the family, see whether in the right right uh, direction and then go to the genus level and then key it out, come to the genus and then you put that SP because you are referring to a particular specimen and then once you do that so you are ready with your specimen and then you come back to the co computer and see whether you are on the right, right line. Same thing you can do that with an unknown specimen. So unknown specimen if it belongs to Queensland and also it grows in the southeast Queensland, take that as an unknown, as a, take it as a challenge and you don't know what it is, you start from the scratch and then start keying it out, come to the family and then to the genus and then you will really feel very, very much a, a good achievement because you have taken a unknown and then put a name to that, it is a very, very authentic way of putting the name. Instead, what you could do is, you could ask somebody, they will say, you, say to you, this is Mariah. How do you know that this is Mariah? There is no proof at all. Somebody tells, you believe, and then you pass it on to somebody else. During that course of transfer of knowledge, you might lose some knowledge, or you might get confused, or you might have been advised wrongly. So you will keep on passing on the wrong information from one person to another one. No, we don't give the clue or the room for those the doubts, you just take their, uh, the information, if they say Mariah, fine, you try to prove it. That is the purpose of this course. It's not just to know the name, it's, just not, not to, it's not just to put the name. I want you to put the name at the same time, I want you to prove that this is Mariah because this has got all these features. And that's where the real science is. I hope you enjoy this, uh, uh, the task and uh, especially when you get the answer, you just jump up and have a cup of tea and uh, feel pat yourself for having achieved uh, the keying process and also the identification process.